Now, the money manager who predicted the collapse of subprime mortgages before the 2008 financial crisis is betting against Britain's banks. Uh, Newberger Berman portfolio manager Steve Iceman is shorting two lenders over expectations of a no-deal Brexit. Iceman also says he has a list of about 50 UK companies that he may bet against in the event of Jeremy Corbyn becoming Prime Minister. Joining us now is Matthew Martin, Bloomberg's finance reporter. Uh, Matthew, good morning. Why is Iceman then so worried about Brexit when reports suggest a deal is closer? I mean, these reports, they change day to day, I guess. Well, good morning. Uh, yeah, so Steve Iceman was speaking at a conference in Dubai yesterday and was asked what is the what, what are the key risks that he's now uh, worried about and where he's looking for um, shorting opportunities. Um, and, and interestingly, he didn't talk about the US. Uh, he didn't talk about trade wars at all. He talked about the UK and about Brexit. And his view was that uh, the UK is uh, is likely to agree a deal with the EU, but a deal which will then ultimately be struck down by Parliament. And so uh, the UK will end up up then falling into a, a kind of a hard Brexit, no deal scenario, which will then uh, impact um, uh, the banking sector, the financials in particular, and obviously the broader economy in the UK. And so this is partly about Brexit, but he also went on to say, I think, that he had 50 stocks that he could short in the UK and uh, he would do if Jeremy Corbyn was prime minister. So there's another angle to it. But do we know which stocks at all then, Matthew? Has he given us any detail on that? No, and I tried to press him afterwards to see if he would say uh, the companies which he has identified, uh, and he wouldn't be drawn on that. Um, but as you say, uh, he did also say that uh, he has 50 companies in the UK which he's watching um, to potentially bet against in the event of a no-deal Brexit and then leading to um, uh, uh, Jeremy Corbyn becoming Prime Minister, which he was um, uh, scathing about, really, in terms of what impact that could have on, on the UK economy. And his view was that you don't want to have any exposure to uh, investments in the UK in the event of a Corbyn Prime Minister.